Halloween just around the corner, believe it or not. But if you can't wait to be scared, Universal Orlando certainly has you covered. Halloween Horror Night starts tonight. Joining me now from Orlando is Patrick Braylard. He's the show director of Art and Design, Universal's entertainment team. Good morning, Patrick. How are you? I'm, I'm, my, my eyes are lost in the smoke. Very eerie down there. Tell us about the event starting tonight. We are thrilled to be bringing Halloween Horror Nights 26 to our guests here at Universal Orlando. It's going to be nine houses, five scare zones, two live shows. Cast of hundreds of scare characters are ready to, to really get after our guests. Our gate's open tonight at 6.30. <laughs> do, do you, you, I know you've been doing this for a number of years. Do you just not get scared anymore as they're slowly creeping up behind you? There are, there are moments where our characters are still able to get me, yes. But that's part of the fun of it. As a creative team, what our job is is to create not only the best experiences for our guests, but really we're building it for ourselves so that we can get scared. <laughs> right, so you're, you're a bunch of grown-up kids, basically, is what you're saying. Okay, so for, for those who have never been to Halloween Horror Nights, I mean, how do you even get started? Oh, well, it starts a year in advance. In fact, on Monday, we're going to begin talks for Halloween 27 coming up. That full year is involved with concept, people yelling at each other across the table for, <laughs> for weeks on end, and then eventually that collaborative process yields what is going to be the event for that next year. Well, we're very sad that our Richard Dunn could not come down because he's always had this fantastic makeup. Can, introduce the, who you have around you there because you're, you're getting some serious eyes from the clown. Yes, right now we've got some members of our team that is in the American Horror Story maze. It's an uber maze covering three different seasons from American Horror Story, which we're so thrilled to partner with this year as one of the uh, signature pieces of our event. With me, I've got Dandy, Twisty the Clown, Pepper, <laughs> and Ethel the Bearded Lady. They are part of the freak show section of the maze. We're also covering seasons one and seasons five of the American Horror Story. Well, they definitely fit right in. All right, I've got to ask, how do you hire people? I mean, you must, is there something on the resume that you're specifically looking for to be as scary as they are? I mean, obviously the, the, the makeup is, is key in this, but the personality too. Yeah, the personality is key. Um, we have an extensive process where, it, and it's basically, uh, it's based off of each individual um, piece of the event. As Horror Nights 25 was such a success, Horror Nights 26 has evolved even from there. And every single year that we do this is completely different. So when we go into casting, we're looking for different people every single year. Although they may fit the mold physically, we want to make sure that we do match the principal personalities with the characters that we're going to be bringing to life. This year we're very fortunate though, because we have a, a variety of variable smorgasbord of a slate that we have we run the gamut from smaller possessed kids to <laughs> twisty right here that, that's really tom schroeder isn't it <laughs> <laughs> he'll be thrilled to hear you say that <laughs> right. so so for okay so for those who uh you know for for example the kids you have something for kids though who don't like to be really frightened uh sure um, <laughs> let's see, there's, there's City Walk. <laughs> um, on, 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 honestly, we like to tout our event as a PG-13 event, so it is at the parents' discretion to bring any children into the park, but I would say that this event um, is constantly reinventing itself, and we are constantly pushing the boundaries so that our guests are not only surprised, but also deeply entertained with our experiences. All right, well, we definitely have to send Bruce down one year. He'd fit right in down there, all right? No makeup needed. Then Please, no come in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How long does it take, by the way, to get into makeup? I mean, is it hours? Uh, depending on the role. Uh, d yeah, depending on the role, it can take upwards of two to two and a half hours for some of our performers to get into their makeup. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. I'd say have fun. Have a good scare. I'm not sure how you end something like this, but we appreciate you joining us. Halloween Horror Nights is going on now through October 31st. Tickets range from $56 to $600 for the ultimate frequent fear pass plus the HNN Express Pass. Uh, that means that you get to go to Halloween Horror Nights anytime you want. And you can bypass the regular lines also at all haunted houses and participating rides and attractions. We have included the link to buy tickets on our website, newsforjacks.com. Just click under the morning show page. And, and by the way, guys, make sure you take your ghoul friend because otherwise <laughs> you'll be haunted for life. And was this your way of dressing up? Yeah. <laughs>